you have been asking in recent videos when I mentioned I was going away if I could film kind of what I'm packing and I usually do this with cosmetics and skincare but I thought it would be kind of fun to outfit plan with you so we're going to Jamaica tomorrow and well Wednesday it'll be tomorrow when you see this video but I needed four outfits I have eight <laughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna take all eight of them or narrow it down from here but it just kind of depends I don't really know the dress code in the restaurants and I don't really know you know what we're gonna be doing at night so that's why I just feel better having more than I need so I'll start on this side this dress is from Target it's really nice quality I actually wore it around Christmas time for a holiday party and I paired it with the Raven statement necklace which unfortunately is retired and my deco ring and my little sparkle studs and then I found my Carlos Santana rose gold shoes. These are pretty old. I got these for Addison's baptism and she's almost three. So that's how old they are, but I don't get enough use out of them. And I thought these would be really fun to take to pair off of the rose gold and the necklace. This I got from Target recently. I love it. It's kind of like a chambray and it's off the shoulder with this lace detail. Jeffrey Campbell wedges that I talk to you guys about all the time. And I paired it simply because it is off the shoulder. I wanted to keep it simple with the Chantilly lace cuff to kind of play off the lace on the dress and just a very simple arc pendant and I do have gold studs that I'll show you on another outfit that I'll just swap out and wear for this outfit too. This is a bright coral romper from BCBG. It's short, it has sleeves that you can adjust the length. You can wear them short or long. Paired in with these beautiful shoes from Sam Edelman. I got these from Shop Akira with these fun hot pink tassels which kind of match perfectly. I haven't worn these yet but this is going to be a really bright colorful outfit. And I paired it with my Frida necklace, which also is retired, but it's one of my very favorite and treasured pieces from Stella and Dot. This was a limited edition, and then they sold out of it. They did limited quantities, and I just have always loved it. And I'm not sure if I want to keep the essential fringe underneath it or not, but I'm going to bring this along anyway because it's just a good layering piece. And then again, earrings I'll take from another outfit, which I'll show you. And then to kind of simplify things, I'm packing a pair of white jeans instead of denim jeans. This shirt is from the J. Crew factory. I showed it in a haul video, and I really wanted to wear my new gold dainty layering pieces that they released for spring. So the drape collar necklace, and then a fun little arm party, gilded path wrap bracelet, the bridge bracelet, this turquoise cuff, and again, stud earrings. Take you to this side. I've been dying to wear this skirt. I got this in the Lily Pulitzer end of the summer sale last year. I haven't, I think I wore it once last summer. It's super bright and colorful, perfect for Jamaica. And then I paired it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this hot pink tunic kind of style shirt from Express that I've had, or just a white Barcelona cami. I'm not sure how bright I wanna go. But either way, whatever shirt I bring, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring along this necklace. It's brushed gold with hot pink tassels. And I did leave them wrapped up because I knew I would be traveling with this and I thought it would just be easier with the matching earrings. Cute. I think I'm gonna wear these Stuart Weitzman nudist sandals in white. And I also just put the Katie wrap. I don't know if I'll wear this or not, but it matches. This is another favorite. This is a long white maxi accordion dress from Express that I got last year. I'm gonna bring along the totem tassel pendant, which I love. Pair that with my artisan stretch bracelets, which have the really pretty sea foam and mint green. This ring's really old from Stella and Dot, another retired piece that I've held onto because I just love it so much and it again matches really well. And then I'm gonna bring along the turquoise deja vu studs. And these are the earrings I was talking about. If you reverse them, they kind of turn to a square stud so I'll wear these with the black and white outfit and then the coral outfit just simple studs that are interchangeable and I think I'm gonna wear my Jeffrey Campbell wedges with this dress I could wear the white but I think that would be too white this dress is from forever 21 again an oldie that I kept I wore it for Addison's first birthday and I paired it with my birdie necklace which goes beautifully and then for my arm party, I'm gonna keep the brush gold theme and I did the Sawyer stretch and the two artisan cuffs. Simple, simple. And probably do my sparkle studs with for earrings with this. This dress was sent to me, I'll put the website below, from a little boutique in Texas. It's just a really fun kind of Aztec feel 
sundress. It's a, like a swing dress, really pretty. Paired it with my azure tassel necklace, which is really fun and it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of works, I feel like, with the pattern. And then simply with my Milana tassel bracelets, which are also retired. I apologize, but I actually do love all my style and hot pieces. I don't just sell it. I actually collect it and wear it. So, and then for these two, I think again, I'm either going to wear the Jeffrey Campbell wedges or the white ones. And then for these, I'm definitely going to wear my Jeffrey Campbell wedges. I'm going to pack all my jewelry in my new jewelry case, which they sent to us to take along on the trip. I'm obsessed with this. Look at the colors. Really pretty mint blue green inside. There's pockets on the side. So all my jewelry will get packed in here. And if you guys like this print, stay tuned for summer. Moving over to swimsuits, I just got this gorgeous poppy red scalloped suit from Maricia Swimwear. It's just really simple, but the detail of the scallop makes it a really classic bathing suit that I know I'll have for years to come. It's kind of a tomato red, and I usually like to pair my bathing suits with a cover-up of some sort. This one, God bless you. This one's from Stella and Dot. It has the elephants, and they're the exact same kind of tomato red. So that'll be my cover-up for that. I got two new brands, two brand new bathing suits from Becca Swimwear, which I am obsessed obsessed with. If you guys have not tried or seen these bathing suits, I suggest you run to Macy's and try them on. They're not only gorgeous on, but they are so comfortable. Like some of the best quality hug your curves, fit really comfortable bathing suits I've ever tried, seriously. So I have a black one and I found this cute little geoprint maxi from Target to just throw over it. And then this gorgeous fuchsia one, which how fun is that? little matching aviators and then my bracelets you guys might think I'm crazy but I always do have jewelry on whether I'm at the beach or staying at home with my daughter it just makes me feel more put together uh, I'm probably just gonna have these bangles on Voyager and the Wanderer cuffs they come with me on every single vacation especially when I'm going to the beach because they just look like beach cuffs and I always have these on and they'll match this bathing suit really well then this cover-up came from Christmas I showed it to you in my what I got for Christmas video with the hot pink tassels. I threw on the little hot pink fringe to go with it. I thought that would be really cute to go over my pink bathing suit. And then I think I'm just going to bring my white bathing suit with whatever cover up I can find to just have one extra one just in case. These are just some extras I'm going to throw in my suitcase. My favorite cutoffs, these scalloped flamingo shorts that I'm probably just going to throw on with a white Barcelona cami and these these shorts I got from the Lily for Target collab and then the Where's the Beach sweater just in case the nights get kind of cool. That's again from Lily Pulitzer that I got in their massive sale. I know this looks like a lot of products but there's a lot here but it's not as much as you think. So to start out I have my Kula sunscreen and my Sephora moisturizing after sun mist. These are going in my beach bag mainly. My shampoo and conditioner, these are travel sizes by Living Proof Perfect Day Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. Body wash, this is a sealed shower oil, almond oil from L'Occitane. Deodorant, Schmitz. Skincare, I'm also taking my Tarte, Sun Guard, Tarte Guard SPF 30. And I'm also going to be taking two vitamin sprays. These are going to be coming in my beach bag with me. I know this one I'm going to run out of really quick, so I have a backup. This one's by Clarity RX, and this one's by First Aid Beauty. They're both hydrating and refreshing. Okay, so to take my makeup off at night, I have Bioderma and cotton pads. Then I have my Josie Marin Nirvana. I'm going to be taking this with me as far as just skincare goes and using this right after I cleanse my face so that my skincare is really well absorbed into my skin. This I'm probably going to take on the plane with me because I don't want the bottle to break. Then I have the Bashia Saki water. I put this on right after I cleanse in the morning as an extra layer of hydration. The Aveeno Positively Radiant Color Corrector. I'm just trying to use this up and put this on spots and hyperpigmentation. This is also by Clarity. It's the On The Men Gel. My skin's been peeling because of the recent facial that I had, so I've just been using this as a layer of hydration if I need it throughout the day. Face Cleanser by Clarity, the Cleanse Daily. Perfect little size for the couple days that will be gone. I'm taking the Clean and Clear Benzoyl Peroxide Treatment in case I get a breakout. I don't foresee it happening, but in case I do. And then I'm also taking little babies of the Glam Glow Super Cleanse and the Flash Mud for little masks if I need them or spot treatments. 
Then I have the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty as an after cleanse step before I put the good jeans on, which good jeans by Sunday Riley. This is my serum. Also been taking this little, using this little peptide hydration as an extra step at night. Argon milk from Josie Marin as an extra step in moisturizer. Uh, body butter. Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I like to do this at least once a week, and especially if I'm in the sun, I just want to get off any dead skin cells. A little itty bitty baby Giorgio Armani Hydrating Eye Serum. An itty bitty baby of the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. Floss. This is just a makeup primer spray and a brush cleanser. And then lastly for my nighttime moisturizer, I'm going to be taking the L'Occitane Divine Oil. I have about half of a bottle left. And again, these will go with me on the plane so they're not broken. And that's it. All of that is in here. I don't remember where I got this bag from, but I love it because it's huge and the inside is lined in plastic. So if anything ever spills, it's easy to wipe clean. So that's all my toiletries and shower necessities and things that I'm taking in my bag. If you watch my getting ready with me video, that's pretty much all the makeup that I'm gonna be taking. Very minimal, I have my eyelash extension, so I'm not really gonna be taking any eye makeup, just some foundation, powder, concealer, bronzer, and blush, and like I said, probably the same products that I used recently in my getting ready with me. And lastly, this will be my beach bag that I'm gonna take from the spring collection, my Panama hat from Target that I picked up recently. That hat I've had forever, and I'm gonna take that flap wallet as my wallet for the whole trip. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, I'm gonna throw some flip-flops in my bag. We'll make sure to link absolutely everything that I've talked about, with the exception of the jewelry that, like I said, is retired, but I will make sure to link and find everything if it is still available so you guys can check it out if you're interested. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can actually see what these outfits look like on and see what outfits I actually ended up bringing with me and wearing. Also, you can follow me on Snapchat. I will be a very busy bee on Snapchat and kind of bring you guys along to Jamaica with us. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you when I get back. Bye. The uh, top and the pants are both from Misguided. I love the bodysuit because it sucks everything and it just makes your chest and stomach look, look really smooth and seamless. And then the pants are these really wide leg,